Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. This is actually being pre-recorded because it is actually Saturday evening, and I am doing some um, quick catch-up on our scrap quilt. So, I have been chain-piecing all of our little strips together to the squares. 41 of these I've done so far um, because I have seven blocks already put together, um, which I'm going to show you. So I know I gave you guys quite a large project to get done um, last week. So it is a lot of sewing and a lot of cutting to get this done, pressed, added on to the squares, and whatnot, but that's a good thing. So, because it gives you plenty of time to work on these. Um, so you don't have to have everything done by today and because I'm not done. And so um, I just wanted to throw that out there. I know that it's a lot. So um, move along at your own pace, do a little bit at a time. As you can see, like I said, it's Saturday and I'm down here working on this. I'm actually getting ready to go on vacation. So, I am trying to get caught up as much as I possibly can and show you what needs to be done. And um, so hopefully it'll be pretty smooth going for you. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you today is I'm gonna show you how to square up these squares. So this is what you do once you have everything put on, all of your strips and everything. And I know we squared up the four patch squares before too. But the reason you want to do this as you go along is because it helps the quilt to go along much smoother and much easier. Plus, you don't have all these wonky sizes going on. You want to keep it very, very, um, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but you want to keep it very much the same. So you want all your blocks to be the same size. That way, when you go to put them together, they're going to be perfect. They're going to match up perfect. Um, and then it also makes it easier to square up your quilt when we get ready to, after we quilt it and we start to do the binding. So that's why it's important to square up the quilt as we go along. Um, I know it's kind of a pain because I don't like squaring up either. It's really probably one of my least favorite things to do. Um, next to piecing the backing. <laughs> I, I do not like to piece the backing. I don't know if I've shared that with you. I think I did a while back, but um, it's kind of one of those things that you have to just do when you're when you're working in quilting. So um, anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the camera and we are just going to start squaring these up. I'm going to show you how I do this. It's very simple. Um, it goes quick and it'll go much quicker because these are much bigger to work with and easier to, to, to do. And there's only 48 of them. So it's not like there's hundreds of them. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get started now. Okay. So I have my seven squares here and these are each already, I believe, at eight. So I want to cut them down to seven and a half. But I'm going to count this just to make sure. Now, I am using my rotary mat just because it makes it easier to cut for me because then I can spin it. But if you don't have one of these, it's fine. You can turn the block. So I'll do demonstrate both ways, okay? So let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight inches there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight inches here. Now you can see how this is wonky here. This is all uneven. And that happens when you're putting a block together sometimes, okay? Uh, fabric can stretch, it can shift, you don't have a quarter inch, you're not using a, the um, same quarter inch consistently throughout the block. A number of things can cause that to happen. You can also cause it to happen during pressing. You can stretch your fabric. So. What we want to do is we want to make this block a seven inch block. So I am going to cut, I'm going to line up on three and a half inches here on my center seam. So 
right here in this center on my four patch is where I'm actually going to line this up. So I'm gonna find the three and a half inches on my ruler. If you need to mark this, you can mark it, but um, I don't, but um, that's where it's gonna be. I don't think I have anything to mark it, to be honest. Maybe I do. I'll try and mark this so you can maybe see it with my Sharpie. So that's where my, my three and a half inches is. And I hope you can see that right there. So now that I'm squared up or lined up and ready to go, I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm just going to go ahead and slice this excess off. Next, I'm going to just spin my mat. Again, I'm going to line up on that three and a half inch mark right here. on my center seam. Now my center seam is a little bit off right here, but that's okay because I just line up that three and a half as best I can where I can, okay? We're gonna spin. Three and a half. And it does help if you mark it because then you know exactly where you need to go, so. If you have problems remembering or finding it each time, and this by this will help you remember and you'll be cutting away and you'll be done in no time and again so you can see that this one is off a little bit right here so I'm just gonna line up as best I can here and we have one block done I'm gonna double check here So it is really important when you're sewing these blocks, you want to try and be as accurate as you possibly can because it can throw it off. Okay, but now we have our block and it's all squared up. So let's try this one next. This time I'm going to do it without the rotary mat, like I told you. You can see how that's done. So again, I still have my ruler marked right there and I'm going to line up on the three and a half now again it's off so I'm just going to line up as best I can here and I'm going to just go ahead and give it a cut I think I need a new rotary blade doesn't seem to want to cut all right so now I'm going to just turn my my piece of fabric and again, I'm just gonna line up. Now this one lines up perfectly. Okay. Line that again. Try and line up. Now remember, this is scrappy. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So, I mean, don't get worked up if it's not perfect, perfect, because you're working with, you're working with scraps anyway. So I think I didn't cut that right, but maybe I did. If you feel like you haven't done something right, double check it. And I'm double checking and this is correct. So I did it right, it's just the way that it's, looking. So then I got to remember how to do this. <laughs> so now you can see that those are perfectly even. And if I wanted to, I could sew them together and they would line up perfect. So and that's how you square it up three and a half inches. And now we'll count these and we'll, I'll show you how they are perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same with this one. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that one isn't. So did I miss something here? I'm wondering on this side. See, this is why we check. Glad this happened while I'm doing this here because not everything is perfect. Now it looks like I just missed a tiny little piece, but even the smallest little amount can, can throw you off. So let's see now. That's better, much better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue to square up my blocks at three and a half inches. I'm just gonna continue to square them up until I'm done with that. I'm gonna do this to all 48 blocks. And um, yeah, and this pattern is actually making a pattern. Um, but you won't be able to see it until I start putting it up on the quilt wall and we start sewing these together. But once you see this pattern, I think you're really, really going to like it a lot. And then um, we will work on the border and I have something very special in mind for the backing. So hold on to your seat belts because this is gonna be one crazy, crazy quilting ride. That's why I call it the Scraptastic Scrap Quilt. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun. Anyway, so that is it. So that's what I want you to do for, um, just get everything sewn together and get it squared up. And then we will talk about the next steps. So that's all I have today. If you'd like to follow me on social media, links are down below in the description box. If you don't know where the description box is, there's a little arrow beneath this video. And if you click on that, it will open up a box and you'll be able to see everything that's in there. Um, you'll be able to see links and whatnot to my blog and also um, to affiliate links and everything else. Um, so don't forget to check that out. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. By liking this video, it helps to get seen um, by other viewers and it helps me to break through on that YouTube algorithm. Make sure that you're a subscriber. You can become a subscriber by clicking that little bell and you can get notified each and every time that I upload a new video, which I hope you will because we do a lot of cool stuff here and I don't want you to miss out on anything awesome. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.